We now come to the Krishna Balaram Temple of the International Society for Krishna Consciousness in Ramanreti on the western side of Vrindavan town. It is number eight on our map. This temple is one of the most popular in all of Vrindavan and is visited by thousands of people every day. It was opened on Ram Nomi in 1975 by the founder Acharya of ISKCON, His Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. By the main entrance is Srila Prabhupada Samadhi. He left this world in November 1977 here at the Krishna Balaram Temple and his transcendental body is now buried in this place. Let us go in and have his darshan. Prabhupada appeared in this world in Calcutta on the day immediately after Krishna Janmashtami in 1896 and met his spiritual master, Srila Bhaktisiddhanta Saraswati Thakwa, in 1922. On their first meeting, Srila Bhaktisiddhanta instructed him, You're an educated young man. Why don't you preach Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's message throughout the whole world? Srila Prabhupada took this to heart but it was only some time later in 1965 that he was able to do it. Then he sailed to America and began his International Society for Krishna Consciousness in New York. Srila Prabhupada circled the globe 14 times, initiated 5,000 disciples, and now Hare Krishna is known in practically every city in the world. We now go into the main temple to have darshan of the deities. Everyone is waiting impatiently for the curtains to open. On the main central altar, we find Lord Krishna and his elder brother, Lord Balaram. On the right altar, we find Radha Sham Sunda, the epitome of spiritual sweetness. Then on our left altar, a Gornatai. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Lord Nityananda, the most recent incarnations of Krishna and Balaram, who appeared in this world a little over 500 years ago to establish the Yuga Dharma or recommend a religious activity for this age, the chanting of the holy names. Srila Prabhupada is also here in the main temple room having darshan of the deities. We now go behind the temple to Srila Prabhupada's house where he would stay when he was in Vrindavan. Here he would meet guests, translate books and write his Bhaktivedanta purports. The house is now a museum dedicated to him. In the various display cases we find different of his paraphernalia. These are some of his original books from before he went to the West. This was his personal harmonium. This was his dictaphone and other items he used in his translating work. These are different medications he used. We're now going to visit the Iskon Goshala on the right of our map. It is about a kilometer from the Krishna Balaram temple 
And here we find a large number of cows, calves, oxen and bulls living very peacefully and happily. All the milk for the deities in the temple comes from here. And there's also a nice Tulsi garden from which all the Tulsi for the deities comes. There is one famous prayer. Namo Brahmanya Devaya, Go Brahmana Hitaya Cha, Jigatitaya Krishnaya, Govindaya Namo Namaha. I offer my respectful obeisances to the Supreme Absolute Truth, Krishna, who is the well-wisher of the cows and the Brahmins, as well as the living entities in general. I offer my repeated obeisances to Govinda, who is the pleasure reservoir for all the senses. Sometimes, Srila Prabhupada would make the point that of the two, the Brahmins and the cows, Lord Krishna is more inclined to the cows, and therefore without cow protection, it is not possible to get the Lord's mercy.